So I have been wanting to make a video about using tretinoin for quite some time because when I decided to start using it again, I really relied on the videos that I watched. But one thing that I found that nobody else seemed to experience was the terrible side effects that were ongoing for months and months and months. Whenever you watch other people's videos on tretinoin, they say, oh yeah, I had some redness, I had some peeling, but if you use it like once a week and then um, add twice a week and then three times a week, you know, you should be good to use it every single night by like a month or three months at the longest. Well, that's not what happened with me. And um, so I thought I would make this video for those of you who are very discouraged, maybe. How can I, you know, keep using this tretinoin? Is it worth it? And yes, it is. So further along in this video, I'm going to show you um, a side by side video of me literally about 10 years apart and then pictures kind of of the process. I wasn't planning on making a video, so I didn't document all of this very well with like adequate lighting. Um, but I'm going to kind of talk you through those pictures and let you know what's going on. So tretinoin, I use the 0 0.025 percentage. I have tried to go up in strength to the 0 0.05 and I cannot tolerate it. So I guess I should start at the beginning. I started this tretinoin journey again. It was two years ago. So this, I actually started it as a new year's resolution two years ago. So what that would have been the year of 2022. So 2021, but new year's Eve of 2022 is when I said, you know what, I am going to start this tretinoin again, and I'm going to succeed. So I watched all the videos. I watched Angie Hot and Flashy. I watched Tam Tamara's Timeless Beauty, but um, they really helped me. But one of the things that I felt was inaccurate for someone like me was I have the most sensitive skin. Plus I was starting this tretinoin journey already at the age of almost 48 at the time. And I didn't want to do the totally gradual retinol, retinaldehyde, all those things that you can find on the internet to ease my way up. I wanted to be able to be on tretinoin and not have the terrible side effects because I had tried this a couple of times before. And one time, I blistered and welted up so bad, I thought for sure I had an anaphylactic reaction to it. And I was like, I can never use it again. Well, then I find out that that's a typical reaction if you use too much. And also when you think about using a cream on your face, all the creams that you've used so far on your face, you get a big scoop of it, right? And put it all over your face and let it soak in. Not the case with tretinoin. And so I had to learn how to deal with tretinoin. And to give you a long story short, I am coming up on two years. I now am able to use 0.025 daily. I have tried to go up in strength to 0.05, but I just can't tolerate it. And I really don't know if it's worth it because at this point I want to start adding in vitamin C or, you know, um, glycolic acids and things like that. So I'm sticking with my 0.025. I started off with the once a week. It seemed to be going well. So I went up to twice a week and I would get these huge, um, I guess, huge side effects that then I would have to go back down to once a week. Now, luckily I had to wear a mask at the time. So I was able to kind of get away with the rash and the side effects. Um, during that period of time, but it took me seven months, seven months to be able to get up to using it almost every night. And even now, two years later, I can use it every night, 
but there will be nights where I'm like, oh, my face just feels very dry or very sensitive. I'm going to hold off and not use it tonight. So you, you do get to know your skin pretty well. So um, that is it. I, I wanted to share this video because people have been coming up to me lately and just being like, what do you use for your skin? And I want to share kind of how I, how I was able to tolerate the tretinoin let you know, because the other thing is I would ask people, I'm like, oh, well, I use tret or I tell people I use tretinoin and they're like, oh, I use it, but it makes my face peel. Yes, it will make your face peel, but that's the whole point. So if you want me to make a video of the science behind tretinoin and all the things that it does, I will happily do that. Just, I don't know, leave me a comment or something and I'll work on that. This one is just sort of an informal friend to friend start using your tretinoin and how to go about it video. And my advice to you is to get the lowest strength, 0.025. I got mine from Nurse RX. It's N-U-R, oh no, it's Nurse X, N-U-R-S-X. Where's my phone? I don't know where my phone is, but Nurse X and um, it's $90 for this tube, but one tube of tretinoin lasted me over a year because you only use a pea size amount, which I'll show you in the video what that looks like. And if you're starting out, you'll only use it once a week, once every two weeks, or I mean twice a week. And so it was fine. It, it was worth it. And then you can also get this product through um, Agency, which I tried that too. And that was actually like a really good company. Like the products were nice, but the good thing about Agency is that they will start you off on a very, very low amount of tretinoin. And then you can ease your way up, which would be really, really good. And if you're patient like that, the bad thing for me with agency was they have all kinds of active ingredients in their products. And I react so badly to anything on my face that I was like, I want to concentrate on one product, one product only. So I also show you in the video later. And so maybe I'll edit this out. I don't know, but I show you the products that I use. And I started off using um, the Clinique Take the Day Off and Cetaphil, the gentle cleanser. That's the products that I use to wash my face. But then interestingly, I went on vacation and I didn't want to take my big bulky um, can of Clinique's take the day off. So I got the e.l.f. Holy Hydration and my skin was so amazing. And I thought maybe it was due to the fact that I was in another country and the air was better. But when I came home, I started using my old routine again and my face got dry again and I went back to this and it's so, my face just loves it and it's super cheap. So I like that one. And then I use the CeraVe at night. It's super light. I put it on before I put my tretinoin on and I let it kind of dry and then I put my tretinoin on after. And then now, two years later, so don't get... Don't get super excited about your new skincare routine because your face will fry off if you use too much stuff. Just concentrate on the tretinoin only until you're used to it. But I started adding the alpha hydroxy acid, the ordinary, the red one. I do this once a week. But this one says for you to leave it on for like eight minutes or something. I put it on, leave it on for three minutes and take it off because again, my face just fries off. And that's not cute. Plus, when you do um, have a reaction to your face products, it hives up or welts up or even sometimes gets blisters and peels and it takes so long for it to get better, like at least 10 days, I think for me it did anyway. So now I'm gonna talk you through my pictures that I have on this video. And the first one that I want to start with is actually very interesting because it's a side-by-side -side video of me doing presentations for work. 
So in both videos, I'm trying really hard to look nice and professional. Um, but one of the videos is from 2012 and one of the videos was like literally last week. So, and that's 2023. So, um, I just was amazed at how much better I look now, at least in my own opinion, than I did 10 years ago. And I think that has a lot to do with just my state of health and well being and my skincare routine with the tretinoin. It made such a difference. So, here's the video. So, here is the video. As you can see, uh, the video from 2012 versus 2023. And now, yes, I do get Botox, but I got Botox in 2012 too. So I don't know, other than living a healthier lifestyle and not having young children anymore, um, it, the tretinoin is the thing that's made all the difference. So this video, when I, I was um, looking through like old stuff, trying to find uh, something for my students. And I saw this video from 2012 and I was like, no way. I am really happy that I started using the tretinoin because I just feel like it makes me look glowier. My skin looks smoother and even my hooded eyes. I haven't done anything to fix those except for using the tretinoin, but you can see there's a huge difference there. So I feel like this video side by side just shows a lot as far as healthy skincare and the tretinoin made a really big difference. So imagine if I had been using it all this time, that would have been really good. Okay. So brace yourselves for this next picture because it was taken at five o'clock in the morning, both times, but this picture here, the one on, I don't know what your screen is going to be, but the one with the pic collage, a name under it is more recent. So that one was probably like a year after I started using tretinoin. And so the one where I have the blue t-shirt on was before or right when I started using tretinoin, I would probably have to say and I mean, again, both of these pictures were taken at five in the morning with not the best lighting, but to my eyes, there's a difference. Um, just, I guess, in sort of tightness of the skin, it's not so droopy and saggy. And that is one of the benefits of tretinoin is that it thickens your um, collagen layer, which then plumps up and sort of tightens all of your skin. So this picture, I was happy to see because you don't really notice the effects when you're using it on a day-to-day -day basis, especially when you're having any of that peeling or redness, then you just kind of get discouraged. So this next picture coming up is also a 5 a.m. photo shoot. Now, most of these pictures I took to show my sister, so I was never planning on, pu on publishing them on YouTube. So um, yeah, so anyway... The picture again under the pit collage where I'm wearing that light gray sweater was either before I started using tretinoin and I knew I was about to start or it was right after I started. And then the other picture is about a year later and you can just see like the lines are so much better. Um, it's so much smoother than it was when I first started using tretinoin. And so my neck even looks a lot better, I think, than it did the year or two before. This picture here is me in my office. You can see, and I, I zoom in in a minute here, but you can see that my face is so red and dry and blotchy. So again, these are pictures that I was sending to my sister because she was going through this journey at the same time which by the way, she did not have nearly the hard time that I have and went on to 0 0.05 right away. So I was very jealous of her tolerance to this medication because I just don't tolerate it well, but I hung in there. And so now two years later, I can use it every day. Um, 
So if I zoom in here, you can see the blotchiness and I couldn't wear any makeup at all. I, if you were, if you wear makeup with this kind of peely skin, the makeup just adheres to it and make, it just looks awful. So I couldn't wear any makeup. I had to start wearing sunscreen every single day. I mean, you should anyways, but I never did before. And um, that's one of the big things about using tretinoin is that you have to use sunscreen every day because it makes your skin sensitive to sun, but it also is sort of counteracting the damage that sun caused. So why would you want to now have sun cause damage when you're trying to fight the damage that the sun caused? And so you have to wear your sunscreen every day. I finally found one that I like. And uh, honestly, that was one of the hardest parts of starting tretinoin was finding a sunscreen that I could use every day and then, you know, wear makeup. So, but you can see here, I have like a rash mustache, even it was just so dry and peely and actually a little bit on the uncomfortable side. So again, pictures that I was sending to my sister, but you can see that my skin is starting to smooth out. Finally, it's not getting so dry. I think if you really zoom in on this picture, like my nose is flaking off pretty bad, but it's starting to smooth out. This area right around um, the that crease on my cheek, that's actually a dimple. So if I smile, I have a big dimple there, but it's like over the years turned into a wrinkle. But you can also see it's like crepey around that. And that took a really long time to go away, but it did go away. So now at the two year mark, I don't have the crepiness uh, and I don't actually have that deep wrinkle anymore either. So that was a good thing from the tretinoin. And then this next picture was just last week and I was so happy with how my face looked, you guys, and my jawline and my neck. So using the tretinoin and just sticking with it is worth it. You have to tell yourself like, I am sticking with this. It's a project. It's a marathon. It is not going to happen overnight. And that's hard for someone like me. Who's like, I want to put this cream on and have the glowing wrinkle free skin tomorrow because that is not how it works. And then finally I have a little video of my routine that I do, and I'm gonna show you how big the um, amount of tretinoin that I use is. There's the Elf Holy Hydration that I use. That's like an oil-based cleanser, so I just rub it all over my face, and then it washes off so nice, and that's the CeraVe. Um, CeraVe makes a daytime one with sunscreen too, but I just use that one morning and night. And here is my tretinoin 0.025. So those are the products that I use. I have a very, very minimalist type of routine because my face just reacts so badly to everything. So here is me putting on the tretinoin and I will explain to you what I am doing. So you only use a pea sized amount. And in this particular uh, clip here, my pee is pretty big because I have just gotten to the point where I can tolerate that big amount. But I might have even used half of that when I first started using the tretinoin. And then I dot it all over my face in teeny little dots. And I rub it all over. Now you're going to see here that when I rub the tretinoin all over my face, I do it right under and around my eyes and above my lip. When you first start out using tretinoin, I would not recommend doing that because the area around your eyes and above your lip gets so dry. Uh, and you'll, you'll have, you know, a flaking mustache and eyes that look 10 times older than what you're going for. So ease into this. This is like two years later. And then I drag it down my neck because if I give my neck its own pea size amount of tretinoin, it hives up really bad. But if I just drag down my neck, it, it actually um, will work. 
I can use it on my chest too. I just forget to do that sometimes. So that is my routine of tretinoin. If you want to see more, please let me know and I can make another video about this.